everyone. I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. The worship of idols is a problem that's as old as, well, the Old Testament. The golden calf that appears in Exodus is surely only one example of how the misguided veneration of an image can be taken too far. Today's saint, Epiphanius, was more concerned about this problem than most. Some might say a little too concerned. Epiphanius was born early in the 4th century. While still in his youth, he learned many languages, including Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. He soon entered into monastic life, where he spent a great deal of time using his talent for language to copy books. Under the instruction of St. Hilarion, he adopted an ascetic lifestyle. After some years spent in this way, he left the monastery and sought solitude in the desert. Here, he was beset by ruffians. He remained in their company for three months, but during this time, he convinced the thieves to repent of their ways. One of them, a man named John, converted, became Epiphanius' disciple, and went on to record many details of his life. By the time Epiphanius returned to civilization, he was famed for his holiness and for performing miracles. In 367, he was consecrated as Bishop of Salamis, and in this post, he accomplished much. He looked with great compassion upon the poor and was unceasingly charitable toward them. He became so well known for his generosity that those who wished to distribute alms often did so through him. He was also one of those who fought against the Origenist heresy. However, his overwhelming zeal for the faith occasionally resulted in controversy. He had a strong distaste not just for heresy, but also for many religious images, such that some considered him an iconoclast. In one of the better-known stories of the bishop's hasty actions, he happened upon a curtain hanging in front of a church. The curtain bore the image of a holy figure, and Epiphanius, who didn't wish for anyone to think that a mere man was being worshipped in the church, immediately tore it down. The custodians complained, so he later sent a replacement curtain. Epiphanius continued to serve as Bishop of Salamis for the rest of his life, and even nearing his 80s, his energy and passion never left him. He died in the year 403. Our faith is full of images and objects we associate with God. Paintings, icons, statues, rosary medals, the crucifix, and so, so much more. Looking in from the outside, it might seem at times like Catholicism is a religion of idols. Epiphanius feared it becoming one, and for good reason. Without context and guidance, people can easily get confused. The important takeaway here is to remember that we don't worship the images. The images assist in our worship, serving like signposts that point us to God. We're physical beings, so it helps for us to have physical things in which to anchor our beliefs. It's not improper to wear a scapular, and it's not heresy to paint an icon, provided we do it for the right reasons. Saint Epiphanius, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic. For more podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.